The potential exists for a unique future attraction for our region in the remnants of the important role we played in saving Australia during World War II. The largest home defence military fortress in the nation's history exists here in our region. Remaining structures of more than 20 mostly accessible sites are still in place. This provides an opportunity to use modern and digital technologies to produce real and virtual trails to visit and experience this important episode in our region's history. The headquarters of the fortress was at Shepherd's Hill, the ideal place to commence the trail. This is the only structure occupied by all three branches of our military. The observation post, the stored gunner's cottage and number one gun emplacement are all still here. Fort Scratchley is renowned as the only site in Australia to fire on an enemy vessel. Tours and gun firing reenactments are a great example of using our history to provide a unique and genuine experience for visitors. Fort Wallace at Stockton has very significant structures and a tunnel network. This site is earmarked for residential development in the near future. On Ash Island, the igloo-shaped concrete radar station has been preserved, offering easy walking and disabled access and parking. This site is ideal for extensive interpretation, whilst also having important stories to tell. At the northern boundary of the fortress, Port Stephens was the centre of intense activity with the remains of Fort Tomaree, HMAS Assault and the Nelson Head Command and Observation Post, which can be visited. Whilst Williamtown's fighter world has extensive displays which reveal the Air Force's role in the fortress. A little known but very important site is Firm Bay's armour proof range. And whilst access is limited, the remaining structures demonstrate the critical role it played in the fortress and Australia's war efforts in the testing of the metals manufactured in Newcastle. Travelling south at Rathmines, the former seaplane base is open and easy to access. The concrete runways remain and several buildings, including the former officers' mess, is used as a bowling clubhouse. The conservation management plan provides scope for extensive interpretation. Other sites around the lake include the accessible Wanji anti-aircraft gun emplacements, the mine camp radar station bunkers at Catherine Hill Bay and the southern defence line at Cold Tea Creek. These structures amplify this region's important role in the effort to save Australia during World War II. This is a nationally significant story and an opportunity to salute those who served. <laughs>